Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get a lot of ceramic inside Fallout 76. In this video, we will going to we will be going to three different locations to collect our ceramic. Um so just keep that in mind. From this run, I got a total of 138 ceramic. So with that said, let's go ahead and get straight into this guide. All right, guys, so to go ahead and get your ceramic, where you're going to want to come is Volt Tech Agricultural Research Center located right here on your map. Here is Volt 76 for reference. Now, once you guys get to Volt Tech Agricultural Research Center, it will look a little something like this. Many of you should know it because it's kind of in the beginning of the game. However, I want to take a quick moment to show you guys my inventory to show you that there's no trickery going on here. I only have waste oil and loose screws, so keep that in mind. So to go ahead and get your ceramic, where you're going to want to come is just kind of, or where you're going to want to go, is just kind of follow the path I take here. And you guys are going to kind of head into these greenhouse things, and you're going to want to collect the flower pots. The flower pots, as you guys can see, are worth one ceramic a piece, so just go ahead and start gathering up all those uh, throughout all of the greenhouses, because there is a few of them. Now, I know of another location to get some more flower pots, and I'll show you guys that in just a, a second. Um, but let's go ahead and clear out this location first. Now, from this location, I think we'll probably get, every time I do this, I get around 40 to 45. Uh, make sure you guys are looking in all the corners. Look in all the places I'm looking. If you guys need fertilizer, there's also a uh, fertilizer here. Um, and there's also fertilizer in those uh, green boxes right there as well. Uh, so if you need fertilizer, um, this is also a great place to come to get fertilizer. So once you guys go ahead and kind of clear uh, out that greenhouse, go ahead and move to the next greenhouse. Here we'll see more flower pots. Just go ahead and take all the flower pots that you can in here as well. Now be careful guys, there are Mr. Farmhands here, but... They shouldn't be anything too hard or tough for you to worry about. I've never picked up the gnomes, by the way. Not sure if they're worth ceramic. I'm assuming they're worth plastic. Now, once you guys loot that one, uh, go ahead and come on over down here, too, because there is uh, the occasional uh, flower pots over here. Um, and uh, I'm not, I don't think there's any on down this way that I remember. See? No flower pots. But if you guys come in kind of this last one here, uh, this is usually where I find the most flower pots. Um, so as you guys can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't see any more. Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now, uh, I do want to say something else about this method as well. Um, keep in mind the flower pots do weigh a lot and they're probably going to weigh you down so make sure you have a lot of inventory space uh, before you go ahead and do this method. Uh, I would hate for you to come here and kind of run out of uh, inventory space uh, to you know kind of collect everything here. Now if we go ahead and go into our junk we see that we have 57 flower pots which equals 57 ceramic now if that's all the ceramic you need you could go ahead and quit the guide right here however if you need more ceramic i'm gonna show you guys another quick place where you guys could go to actually get some more it's a place called lewis and sons farming supply located right here on your map um, and here is volt 76 for reference so all you guys are going to want to do is head on over to lewis and sons farming supply located right here all right, ladies and gentlemen, so once you get to Lewis and uh, Sons Farming Supplies, uh, again, located here on your map, it will look a little something like this. You will see kind of another little greenhouse, and all you guys are going to want to do is kind of head straight on uh, inside this greenhouse. And as you could tell here, there is also a bunch of flower pots. So one, two, three, we have four and five here. Coming over here, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Over here, ten, eleven. Coming on over here, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six, fifteen. Uh, can I grab this one? No. Okay. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Let's see. 
If I could grab it from this side. Nope, can't grab those two, unfortunately. So we grabbed about 16 here, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, um, 21, 22. Uh, wish I could grab those other ones, but can't. If you guys need fertilizer, also it appears that there is a lot of fertilizer here for you to go ahead and grab. Now, if we go ahead and look at our flower pots, we now have 81 ceramic. Um, and I got to say, this is probably the best place uh, slash places um, I have found uh, ceramic at inside Fallout 76. Hands down, the best places to find ceramic are these like kind of flower shops and agricultural places and the greenhouses. Um, these are just kind of two of them where I know where they're at close to the starting area. I know a lot of people need ceramic, which is a reason why I made this guide. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this guide. If you did, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe as it really does help the channel grow. Uh, but if you guys need even more ceramic, I actually have one more place from you. Sorry if this guide seems a bit long, but I'm just showing you personally where I find a lot of ceramic inside Fallout 76. Is a place called the Palace of the Winding Path, located way up here on your map. Um, now we'll go there in a second once I deconstruct uh, all the ceramic I have. So I'll see you guys in just a second, hopefully. Now, once you guys get to the Palace of the Winding Path, it'll look a little something like uh, this. Now, it's located here on your map once again, and here's Vault 76 for reference. Now, you will need a lot of carry weight to gather the things that are here that actually contain ceramic because they're vases, and the vases are very heavy. However, um, if you need ceramic in a pinch, this is definitely a place to uh, come and check out. Now what you guys are going to want to do is just kind of follow the path I take, come on through the front, past that red car, through these red arches, and just keep on kind of on the path uh, I'm on, I guess you could say. Now keep in mind this is not an area for low level players, um, it's a little bit of a high level area if you will, but you guys could just kind of follow the path I take here. As soon as you walk in through this door, you'll see these vases, and these vases do contain ceramic. Go ahead and pick those up. Now the next place you guys are going to want to go is kind of to this like I guess you could say a little meeting room here. Once you are in this meeting room you will see like these saucers and these teacups. Go ahead and take those. Those are worth one ceramic a piece. So let's go ahead and pick up all these. Now there's multiple places where these uh, do spawn uh, and I'll show you uh, those places in a moment. Now you guys can also grab these uh, ornamental vases. However these ornamental vases are extremely heavy and do take up a lot of weight and I'll show you what I mean uh, kind of in just a second once I find a place to kind of hang out. So as you guys can see here our ornamental vase weighs weigh 7 gives us 1 ceramic and 2 copper. Now I'm going to go ahead and drop this. You could pick these up as you find them but for sake of guide I'm going to go ahead and drop this. If we look at teacups we could tell that they give us 2 ceramic which is really good. I mean saucers give us 2 ceramic and teacups give us 1 ceramic. And we're already at 81 ceramic, so we're doing pretty good. Also, the white ornamental bases weigh 6, give you 3 ceramic. So if you guys want to take those, go ahead and do so. I'm just going to go ahead and drop them for uh, sake of guide. As you guys can tell, these uh, vases weigh a little less, and they also give us ceramic. Those are going to be the ones I'm kind of picking up throughout this video. So once you guys kind of loot this little out area out here, make sure you grab all the teacups, the teapots, and pretty much everything you can. Uh, make sure you grab all the vases go ahead and go on over this way once you come over this way just kind of follow the path i take here um and just kind of uh i guess you could say keep on going um just keep on going keep on going nothing really in this area it looks like contains ceramic there was a few items over here but it looks like someone beat me kind of to them so what you guys are going to, want to do is just kind of run down on into the basement here run on up run into this bathroom and in this bathroom will be multiple kind of uh vases just go ahead and pick those up now once you guys kind of loot this bathroom uh simply run on over this way straight keep on going this way keep on going this way all the way you can go come on over in here and inside these little kind of play areas there will be teacups and stuff like that but it looks like somebody uh, came through and managed to uh kind of uh grab them all um there's usually teacups and saucers here but they're not here right now but if you do come here they will be on those uh little tables um so um, just keep that in mind keep on following the path i take here and as you guys can tell we are now back to our starting area um now make sure to grab these vases here 
uh, as well. You guys could take those, but like I said, they're heavy, weigh a lot, and they really uh, don't give you a lot of ceramic. But if you need it, go ahead and uh, take it. Come on over this way. There's more going to be more vases here. Go ahead and grab these as well. I'm going to go ahead and pick up that one. Go ahead and come this way. There'll be some more vases here. Go ahead and grab those as well. As you guys can see, more vases here. Go ahead and grab those as well. I suggest grabbing the small ones before you grab the big ones, unless you want to grab the big ones. So keep on following me the way I'm going. Really no uh, ceramic over here, so you don't really have to uh, worry uh, about it. Um, come on over this way. As you guys can see, some more ceramic, some more vases here. Go ahead and go up the stairs here. Let me go ahead and first aid before I get murdered by some damn scorched. Now, you guys could choose to go either way. As you guys could tell, vases, 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 vases. Just lots and lots and lots of vases. As you guys can see here, a teacup. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that teacup. Um, and let's go ahead and head on out. Still saying on the second floor. Go ahead and go on over this way. Go over this way. And there should be another teacup and saucer around here but uh, none so let's go ahead and go upstairs i might have got it confused with the next level which which i did there'll be some vases here usually so if you want to take those go ahead and grab them um as you guys can see some vases here i'm gonna go ahead and grab those vases um let's go ahead and go out this way go ahead and make yourself a right keep on going there'll be some uh more uh vases inside this uh room i believe if i remember co correctly but it, they're, they're not here it looks like somebody's already been through this place before us go ahead go upstairs keep on going go ahead and make yourself a right into here you will see some more vases go ahead and grab those you guys could go ahead and take that vase but these vases kind of weigh a lot i'm just grabbing these small ones uh for sake of god just to show you that you know you can grab them but if you want to grab the big vases uh you guys can as you guys can tell, a lot of bases here. Base over here, base over here, base over here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab those. And now I am completely all out of inventory space. Um, so uh, yeah, and that's really kind of all the ceramic that I know of that spawns in this area. I think there's some uh, kind of uh, down here, I believe, uh, in this room. There's, there's like bases, like little bases like that one. And the other one, there's like little bases like that too. But really nothing too much to worry yourself about at this point you should have more than enough ceramic uh, to meet your uh, needs so let's go ahead and head on over to a uh, workstation and let's go ahead and show you how much ceramic this kind of run between these three places will actually net you in total now keep in mind we left a lot of ceramic in there so the real number is actually much higher than what i'm about to show you so let's go ahead and get out of here now finally back at my uh, little shack, my little base if you will, gonna go ahead and jump up here, gonna go ahead and go to scrap items. Scrap items, as you could tell from the kind of second area that we went to and that first area we went to, we got a total of 57 ceramic, which is quite a bit. If we go into our junk in total here, uh, we could tell that we got 138 ceramic for this run which is a, a little bit uh, ridiculous if you ask me 138 ceramic really really good um believe me guys definitely the way to get ceramic is uh the places i showed you through flower pots and kind of other things so if you guys did enjoy this guide please be sure to definitely drop that like comment and subscribe as it really does help the channel grow anyways i love all of you i hope to see you guys right back here in the next fallout 76 guide uh, remember, I make 76 guides of all kinds, weapon guides, armor guides, fusion core location guides, power armor location guides, any guide that you could think of for Fallout 76 I make and would really appreciate that. Like, comment, and subscribe. Anyways, love you all. Hope to see you in the next one. But until then, remember to stay freaky and bye-bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you next time.